What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Robert from Rob Geo 0407L and welcome to episode 230 of Logo History. Today we're going to have a look at Boston Market. Before I move on, there will be two requested logos on the way, so stay tuned for that. Alright, now let's take a look at the short buy of those of you who don't know what Boston Market is. It is a restaurant founded on December 1984 in Newton, Massachusetts. It was first named Boston Chicken from 1984 to 1995. And it was founded by Stephen Colau, or Colau, whatever, and Arthur Kors. Its headquarters are in Golden, Colorado. Its key person is Francis Allen, CEO. As of 2013, there are 462 locations. As of 2007, there are 14,000 employees. Their website is www.bostonmarket.com. So let's take a look. Alright, $3 off $10 by joining our VIP club. Receive discounts, new product information, more delivered into your inbox. Email address. Favorite location, please select subscribe. By clicking subscribe, you agree to receive communications from Boston Market, including coupons, special offers, new product launches, feedbacks, and surveys. Uh, let me just exit out. I don't need to log in. Wow. Something new for Thanksgiving, huh? Your Thanksgiving made easy. Explore many options. We have some turkey, and uh, I don't know what this is. I, I'm guessing it's cornbread, and we have beans and shit. We have a we have a pumpkin pie and another pumpkin pie and whatever the hell this is. Yeah, Thanksgiving's coming up real fast, yo. Alright. Alright, I guess that's the end of the main page. Let's go back. Now without further ado, let's get started. 1985 to 1995, like I said in the short bio. This has this thing started as Boston Chicken. Um um, so we have uh, a an, a red oval, and we have the words Boston Market, I mean Boston Chicken, in white text. And for some reason, we have um we have a shape that kind of looks like a wiener on a hot dog, and we and we have the word rotisserie. Or let let me try this again, rotisserie. Um, this is another version where it's just. Fully black and white or whatever, and, and and this has, and this has whatever the heck this thing is. 1995 to 2006 and 2011 to the present. So basically, this logo was used from 1995 to 2006, and then revived five years later in 2011. So we, so similar to the previous logo, um, instead of having the words Boston Chicken, they changed the name to Boston Market. And they changed the word, um, and, sorry, and on the wiener, um, they changed the word rotisserie, I mean rotisserie or whatever, to home style meals. Boston Market home style meals. Alright, 2006 to 2011. Um, Alright, so red oval, we have the words Boston Market in uh, white text. And we have the words established 1985. All right. Um, like I said, there will be two requested logos for this episode. So the first requested logo in this episode right now will be... Furby! This logo was a request from Pingu, Sem, and Duke. So, so um, let's give credit to him for the request. So thank you, Pingu, Sem, and Duke for the request. And now, let's take a look at the short bio of those of you who don't know what Furby is. It is an electronic toy invented by David Hampton. It is a very popular kids, sorry, it is a very popular get kids toy geared towards children. I don't know why I forgot to put toy in there. Once again, I'm an idiot. Alright, website is furby.hasbro.com slash en dash us. So let's click on the URL to the website. Let's take a look. Let me X this out here. here. Oh man, we got Furby. Yeah, Furby. Um, a lot, a toy that I, that every kid loves because it was geared towards children. All right. One interacts with Furby Connect World app. Two in-app surprises. Three connects with friends. Four download the app. So four steps. Um. 
um, there's a demo video, or right, there's other videos, but I'm not gonna get into that because I want to get to the second requested logo after this logo. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Also, the year, the title of the years might be a little different, and and then they you think, um, they took uh whatever year I hate hiatus or something. So, 1998 to 2002, we have the word Furby in white text with a uh, green outline. It looks like, or maybe blue outline. I can't tell. Anyway, that is just as simple as that. And we also have a blue drop shadow. Like if you look closely, you will see a blue drop shadow on the logo. 2005 to 2007, we have the word Furby in cyan, and and the letter Y in the word Furby happens to be the only letter standing out in this logo because it somehow creates a line. Alright, 2012 to the present, we have the word Furby in white text with a light blue outline. And, um, yeah, we have Drop Shadow and we have a Furby toy. Yeah, Furby toy. And now, for the final requested logo for this episode. The last requested logo for this episode will be... Cartoon Network Studios! <clears throat> this logo was requested by David Otero, so please give credit to David Otero for the request. Thank you for the request, David Otero. If you're watching this, um, you requested it, and now I'm going to do you a favor. Now let's take a look at the short bio of those of you who don't know what Cartoon Network Studios is. It was founded on October 21st, 1994. Its headquarters are in Burbank, California. Its key people are Mark Costa, VP of Live Action Production, Ryan A. Miller, SVP and GM, Jennifer Pelfrey, VP of Animation Production, Rob Sorcher, EVP and CTO, and Tran Wigzel, SVP of Original Series. Alright, its website is www.cartoonnetworkstudios.com. So let's take a look at the website. Wow. I love how the logo appears. I love how the logo appears on the website as soon as I get into the, as soon as I get into the, um, website. Um, I'm only going to click on the letter C. So, our studio. Wow, it's Finn from Adventure Time. Unfortunately, Adventure Time ended way back in September. So it ended not too long ago. So, yeah, yeah, it had it. It had a series finale. It's called "Come Follow Me" or "Come With Me" or something. Uh, I forgot the title. Please let me know. Um. Anyways, let's go back. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Nineteen ninety four to nineteen ninety seven. We have the word cartoon. We have the word cartoon in black and white text, and we have the word network also in black and white text. And um, and um under that rectangle we have the word studios in black text. 1996 to 1997, um this rectangle has the words cartoon and network and the word studios all in a black and white box, almost almost like um what you see in checker in the in checkers kind of or whatever. 1997 to 2001, we have the word cartoon network and then we have the word studios in white text. Sorry, excuse me. Um, 2001 to 2007. Now it looks like it's being hand-drawn or something. Um, we have the word cartoon. We have the word network. We have the word studios. Except the word studios is not in black and white. It's not in a pattern like the first two. It, it's, just, it's just in black boxes and in white text. That's it. 2004 to 2010 is the primary logo. 2004 to 2011... For, 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 sorry, for production years, and 2004 to 2012 for on-screen appearances. Uh, this, is, yeah, this is probably the same. 2010 to 2013 for primary logo and production years, and 2010 to 2014 on on-screen appearances. We have, like, three white boxes. I mean, actually, four white boxes, sorry. Um, what I'm trying to say is, what, three white boxes diagonally, and we have this White box being isolated, and then we have the words Cartoon Network Studios under there. 
And finally, 2013 to the present, uh, we have the word uh, cartoon in um. We have the word cartoon in a uh, in black and white text, and we have the word network in black and white text. So it's going back to and so it's so it's reverting back to this checker pattern again, or maybe chess. That that's what I was trying to think. All right, and then we have the word studios and white text under it. All right, that's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode two hundred thirty-one, Chuck E. Cheese. Dating Busters, and TGI Fridays. Bye-bye.